Assalamualaikum semua orang So tajuk video hari ni adalah How to improve your English So ini adalah berdasarkan pilihan korang Masa I post Insta Story beberapa minggu yang lepas To be honest, my English biasa-biasa je But uh, previously I also got DMs and comments regarding the same issue Ramai di antara korang yang risau uh, Korang tak begitu bagus dalam bahasa Inggeris Tapi korang plan nak ambil medik So whatever tips I'm going to share with you guys today Is basically what I've tried in the past uh, Because I've been in your shoes before so the first tip is for you to get familiarized with English words and surroundings. Make friends with people who speak English on a daily basis. That's the best way. Read English books, novels, comics, newspapers, magazines, listen to English songs, um, watch English movies, dramas, TV shows. Try your best to use English subtitles instead of any language that you're comfortable with. In terms of exams, um, the bilingual kind of questions Train yourself to answer the question in English and you can always use and refer to the Bahasa one if you don't understand the English word. The key here in this process is to just get yourself familiarized. It's okay if you don't understand most of the words you are reading or you listen to. Just get yourself a dictionary as an aid. It's very important for you to read or listen first and just guess the meaning based on the context of the text. There's a lot of type of dictionaries but the one I really recommend for a beginner is the for example English to Melayu, Melayu to English kind of dictionary but if you can use the English to English or thesaurus. So, um, the way I use my dictionary is basically I train myself to read about one to two pages of English novels per day. And you underline the word that you don't understand the meaning. Once you finish reading just open the dictionary, find the meaning and just put like a side note um, on the page. This method really helps in terms of not only finding the meaning but also increase my vocabulary. My next tip is for you guys to practice on spelling and pronunciation. In medical school, um, there are terms and diseases in which the way they sound is kind of different from the way they are spelled. I think that it is such a waste if your marks are deducted because you just misspelled or mispronounced something. Next is to revise on your grammar. Um, I believe that most of us uh, have been taught about basic English grammar in primary school. So um, grammar is very important in terms of writing and also speaking. It helps you to make one meaningful sentence. And for me personally, I don't mind if you guys speak broken English, but you cannot do that in exams or in formal settings. But to add spices to the way you write and to the way you speak is basically learn and revise about idioms, similes, collective nouns, this will definitely add extra marks in your exams as well as in the way you speak because you will sound more like a native speaker. Next is regarding essay writing. So the first thing is just come back to the basics. Remember about grammar, spelling, your vocabulary, add some spices and this will definitely help. Number two is please Please understand what the questions wants from you. Um, underline the main thing that you need to do and this will help you to stay in tracks in terms of giving the points in the essay. Number three is basically knowledge and also imaginations. Imaginations is more towards fiction kind of essays. There's not much of essay writing in medical school. Uh, basically, it's just case presentations, case write-up, so you don't have to worry much. And the last tip is basically to practice. During my SPM year, I wrote about one to two essays per week. I sent it to my teacher for her to check. And in return, she um, always give me like a collection of past year's A+. Plus SPM English essays for me to read it. So, so if you guys had the chance to find that collection, please do so because it just gives you an idea of what A plus essays should look like. My tips regarding speaking or giving presentations in English. Number one is always basic, a good grammar, a basic vocabulary, good pronunciation. This will totally help at least for you to have something proper to say. Number two is have moderate confidence in yourself and just try. For me, overconfidence kills, but insecurity doesn't help. So just have that moderate level of confidence and never afraid to make mistakes because you are trying, you are a beginner. You just raise your hand in class, ask and answer questions in English. Number three is basically be comfortable. For me, you don't need to force yourself to have like American or British accent. Just embrace your true identity. If you have slang, it's fine. But if it affects the way you pronounce things, you might have to improve on that. So just remember, the most important thing is actually to communicate. You want to deliver key points to your listener and you want the listener to understand what you're trying to say. As long as you do that, so for me it's fine. So my main tip is basically you just have to practice. Um, if you can make a lot of friends who can speak 
English, that's great. Just practice in front of the mirror. Uh, for me, it's very helpful because I can control my facial expression, I can improve on my punctuation, pronunciation. Um, sometimes I do record my voice. Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but um, I don't really know how I sound like to other people. So it definitely helps me to improve my tone of voice. If there are people who make fun of your efforts trying to speak in English, my point is just to ignore them, don't mind them. Just remember that it's you who want to improve your English, it's you who want to go to medical school. So be firm, just keep trying and keep improving every single day. Uh, but whatever it is, for me, bahasa itu menunjukkan bangsa. Sejauh mana, sekuat mana pun korang berusaha nak belajar bahasa Inggeris, tapi bahasa utama kita jangan pernah dilupakan. So that's all guys for video today. Um, if you find this video is very helpful, don't forget to click the like button and just do me a favor if you guys haven't subscribed yet to my channel please please click the subscribe button and yeah thanks for watching until the end